Hey, what's going on? It's Kyle Henderson of Bama Football on YouTube. Alabama now has the number one ranked class in all recruiting services. Before we get going, be sure and hit the thumbs up. Today, on Sunday, July 14th, Ty Haywood has committed to the Alabama Crimson Tide. Here's a look at Alabama's five-star talent. We'll work our way from right to left in this graphic. Ty Haywood jumps on board today. Really big pickup for the Crimson Tide for many different reasons. This is an elite prospect out of the state of Texas. Alabama now has two five stars from the Lone Star State. Kalen DeBoer obviously doing a great job in California as well as in the state of Texas. As you know, recently, Michael Carroll was also elevated to five-star status recently on On3. Big-time prospect out of the state of Pennsylvania. You also have a player like Dejon Lee, who is a five-star consensus, an elite-type defensive back. And look at what's happening right now at Alabama. I mean, the last two days have been really magnificent. So today you get Ty Haywood. Yesterday you get Caleb Cunningham. We're going to talk about him in just a second. And I think a lot of this started because of this young man, Keelan Russell. Keelan Russell, the first prospect to jump on board for the Alabama Crimson Tide during the month of June. And what that did was that really catapulted Alabama in terms of the recruiting momentum that we've seen them have over the last two months. It's been quite explosive, to be honest. It's been a cold summer as Courtney Morgan has started. Kalen DeBoer and his coaching staff have done a fantastic job. Now, we rewind to Saturday when Alabama landed Caleb Cunningham. And Caleb Cunningham is a type of wide receiver who is just electric on all fronts. I think when you look to wide receivers that can take you over the top, that can be a very versatile wide receiver. He could play H. He could play on the outside. That is him. Think about the future of the wide receiver position here at Alabama. Ryan Williams, Lotsier Brooks, Caleb Odom, Caleb Cunningham. Who's going to be next to jump on board? I don't know if it's going to be a Derek Meadows. I don't know if it's going to be a Khalid Lockett, but I promise you it's going to be another high impactful type wide receiver. Who doesn't want to play for Jamarcus Shepard and the type of energy and the type of coaching that he has? Honestly, I feel that he's one of the best, if not the best wide receiver coach in the entire country. He's also recruiting at a very high level. Alabama's offense is completely explosive. You're going to start to see more of the defense Defensive efforts on the recruiting front going forward. But what you have here is the number one re re ranked recruiting class in the entire country. Who would have thought that this would happen? And I've asked my comment box about this several different times. When the changeover of the guards happened at the beginning of the season, what did you think was going to happen in terms of recruiting? Which players were going to stay on board? Did you think that Alabama was going to be the number one team in recruiting by July 14th? I certainly didn't. I didn't think that things were going to stop, but how could you continue to maintain that momentum? What was going to be the strategy? They've had an ice cold strategy, to be honest. This has been really monumental to be able to jump teams like Ohio State, Georgia. You saw Oregon. They have gone all in in terms of NIL and what they are trying to do, and you still see Alabama out on top. Look, this is going to be a gigantic week. We start SEC Media Days on July 15th. On the 17th, which will be Wednesday, you have Alabama with Coach Kalen DeBoer, Jalen Milrow, Malachi Moore, and Tyler Booker. Three that really exemplify leadership. And that I think that's only going to catapult onto what Alabama has going on uh, right now. It is an ice-cold summer. It's been amazing to see what has been happening for the Alabama Crimson Tide. This five-star talent that they have right now is fantastic. I mean, Caleb Cunningham, Keelan Russell, Dejon Lee, Michael Carroll, Ty Haywood. Let me ask you this. Who do you think's next to commit? What are the five stars do you think will jump on board to Alabama? Do you think things are over with like a prospect like Naheem Oford, the number one prospect in the state of Alabama? Um, I certainly don't. I think with the wave that they have right now, what five star is going to be next? That's my question to you inside the comment box. My name is Kyle Henderson. I sincerely appreciate you guys being here, supporting the product right here on Bama Football on YouTube. This has been icy what is happening right here, and I hope you take time to enjoy your Sunday. This is a huge week. Get ready. We got NSA, the video game dropping. We're going to be streaming it right here on Bama Football on YouTube. Can't wait. I love you guys. Please be good people, and I'll catch up with you soon right here on Bama Football on YouTube.